Which of Berkshire's businesses are best suited to thrive during a period of high inflation and why? Which will suffer and will suffer the most and why? All the best businesses inflation during inflation are usually the best. They're the businesses that you buy once and then you don't have to keep making capital investments subsequently. So you, you, you get, you do not face the problem of continuous reinvestment involving greater and greater dollars because of inflation. Uh, that's one reason real estate in general is good during inflation. If you built your own house 55 years ago like Charlie did or bought one 55 years ago like I did, uh, it's a one-time outlay. Whereas if you're, and you get the, you get an inflationary expansion in replacement capital without having to replace yourself. And if you've got something that's useful to someone else, it tends to be priced in terms of replacement value over time. So you really get the inflationary kick. Uh, now, if you're in a business such as the utility business or the railroad business, it just keeps eating up more and more money and your depreciation charges are inadequate and you're kidding yourself as to your real economic profit. So, any business with heavy capital investment tends to be a poor business to be in in inflation, and often it's a poor business to be in generally. Uh, and the business where you where you buy something once, uh, a brand is a wonderful thing to own during inflation. You know, Seize Candy built their brand many years ago. Now we've had to nourish it as we've gone along, but the value of that brand. Uh, increases uh, during inflation just as the value of, of, of really any, any strongly branded goods. Uh, Gillette bought the entire radio rights to the World Series in 1939. And as I remember, it cost them $100,000. And for that, they, they got to broadcast the Yankees, I think, versus the Reds in 1939. And think of the number of impressions they made on mines in 1939 dollars for $100,000. And they were getting into the minds of young guys like myself, I was eight or nine, and millions of people. And they did it in those dollars then. And of course, if you were going to go out and try and do, have a similar impressions on millions of mines now, it costs a fortune. And part of that's due to inflation, part of it's due to other things. But it was a great, investment which could be made in 1939 dollars that paid off in terms of selling selling razors and blades in 1960 and 1970 and 1980 dollars. Uh, so that, that's the kind of business you want to own. Charlie? Well, yeah, but the, if the inflation ever goes completely out of control, you have no idea how it's going to end up. If it weren't for the Weimar inflation, we ne might never have had Adolf Hitler. It was the twosome of the great German inflation followed by the Great Depression that brought us Hitler. And think of the price that the world paid for that one. We don't want inflation because it's good for seized candy. <laughs> no. I didn't quite realize I was proposing no, no, that. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I wasn't criticizing it. <laughs> What's good for C's candy is good for the United <laughs> States. <laughs>